Look at the chicken. Yeah, he's done so bunzo now. Hey, you like that chicken? That's a rooster, actually. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know what it is. What is going on, YouTube? Foxy, welcome to GSA with a brand new video, and hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are gonna be looking at the mini Uzi in every single Call of Duty. So, hope you guys do enjoy. If this video gets a thousand likes, then I will do another evolution video. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good jazz. And let me know down in the comments which evolution video you guys want me to do next. So, without further ado, let's go, bros. Okay, so, because I couldn't find anyone in a Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4 uh, lobby, because the lobbies are just dead, as you guys saw, I'm just gonna show you guys this is what the Uzi looks like in Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty 4, and yeah. Goddamn. Good, good God. Look at that recoil. You like that? That, that, that's, that that's a terrible sound. We're gonna look at Remastered in a little bit. Because, um, I, I definitely want to check this out and actually play with the Uzi from COD 4. But, uh, yeah, just can't find any games on the original COD 4 on the Xbox One. So, yeah. Enjoy. Let's go to Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, I forgot to say this, but Code Foxy is 30% off at gfuel.com right now. So if you guys want to go restock up on your G Fuel, make sure you guys go use Code Foxy at gfuel.com. I'll leave it at the top of the description. And I'll leave the evolution playlist up in the description as well. You guys can follow me on my Twitter on all my social medias and all that stuff too. Go follow me on my Twitch. We stream on Twitch at night as well. So yeah, we've been uh we've been streaming a lot lately, so I would appreciate if you guys went over there and dropped a follow, drop a sub, whatever you guys do want to do. I, I did not expect to find a game on Modern Warfare 2 this fast. Call of Duty 4 is just completely gone. It's just completely just non-existent anymore. The player base on that game is just not there anymore. And that really sucks. But we are on some Modern Warfare 2. And we are using the mini Uzi. Let's see here. Run through here. This guy's running through the back of our spawn. Wait for him to kind of run through. Fight! And I got knifed. Alright, we're gonna flank Rooney with the mini Uzi right here. Hopefully we can hit, hit him with a nice flank. Oh, he's got right there. UAV online. No, no, no. Oh, there's a guy camping in there, bro. That's another thing about these maps, bro. Like, people want to say that Modern Warfare that Modern Warfare 2019 has safe spaces. So does Modern Warfare 2, you know? I, Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty game, but they have safe spaces in this game. It, it, it's not... It's not just all... They're not, they're not, uh, what's it called? They're not exempt from the safe space argument. Oh my, of course, dude. Every single time I think I'm going to get a feed or something like that, or I'm going to get multiple people running in at once, then, dude, are they all sitting up there? Don't tell me they're all sitting up there. Where the fuck did he come from? Yo, this man's lagged like, oh my god. Bro, this man skipped from one room to another, dog. Oh my. We're gonna run up here. Come on. I can't see. Oh man, we got Harriers. It's lit. He's got martyrdom, but what, a, what an asshole. Let's see, it's uh, let's throw this like right here. Oh well, that's a possibility right there. I think I have ammo left for one more kill with this Uzi. Oh my, I, can't, I literally cannot see. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh man, I, I'm out of ammo. Oh dude, we got Chopper, it's lit. All right, well that's a good gameplay for this video. <laughs> so in, uh, I can't find a game in Black Ops 1, but it, it's okay, it, it's whatever. The gun isn't that great, at least in my opinion. Um, and I just, I don't know, I, I just kind of wish that there was, it was easier to find games in this in this game. It, it's just completely, at least on Xbox, it's a complete ghost town, and it's super hard. I think it has something to do with the backwards compatibility on the console or whatever. Let me see, hopefully we can... Wait, did I get a care package? Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I, I don't have, like, my regular streaks on. 
all good. I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time playing against bots. I'd rather go play like a regular multiplayer and stuff like that. We're gonna we're gonna move to um I'm trying to think Black Ops 2 because Modern Warfare 3 doesn't have a mini Uzi. It was in the game files, but it was it wasn't in the in the actual game. So I think we're gonna move to Black Ops 2 because I'm pretty sure Black Ops 2 has the mini Uzi in it, even if it's just campaign. So we're gonna look at that real quick, and then I. Th Thing? I don't know what game. I, I can't remember what other game that we're gonna end up looking at, but yeah, let's hop right in to some Black Ops 2. This is the mini Uzi from Black Ops 2, and it's very similar to the Uzi in Black Ops 1. It just sounds different. It sounds like one of the weapons in Black Ops 2, just like all the other weapons and stuff. I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's kind of cool how it looks very similar to the Black Ops 1 mini Uzi, but at the same time, it kind of confuses me a little bit because. The Black Ops 1 mini Uzi is from black like from like Vietnam, like like Cold War S. This is supposed to be super far in the future. Well, I guess I feel like for this campaign there should be like a, a model that's really, really old from like Vietnam ish era, and then there should be an Uzi that's kinda modern. I feel like that'd be cool. Not modern, but like modern to this era, which is futuristic and things like that. So I think we're gonna get, just skip ahead because I don't want to spend too much time on this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at the Modern Warfare Remastered uh, mini Uzi. We're from also from Call of Duty 4, so yeah. All right. So we now have the mini Uzi and Modern Warfare Remastered. And I, I honestly, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. As you guys saw earlier, it was like really, really tough to find games in Modern Warfare Call of Duty 4 earlier. So that's why I'm also playing this game. Even though we kind of like look at the, uh, we kind of look at the remastered game anyways. I, I never just refrain from looking at the remastered game because I like looking at the remastered game, to be honest. I love playing Modern Warfare Remastered whenever I can, and my aim sucks. I'm sorry. Even though everyone's using the goddamn M16, but, you know, it's, it's all good. And this is, like, the worst map for this. Dude, this, goddamn, the Uzi is so bad. Dude, du why do, why are we using double claymores? Why is someone using double claymores, bro? There we go. Ow. I literally can't see a thing. Enemy UAV is airborne. We have lost the lead. That's another dude. UAV oh my god. Wait, I know verified. that's ours. Hold on. Our UAV is online. Dude, what the fudge sickles, bro? They just lay down a claymore. That guy's dead. There should be another one. Yep, there he is. Yep. Okay, there we go. Airstrike. Yeah, we're actually gonna throw this airstrike right over here, right where they're spawning. That should get a bunch of them. Okay, well, I don't want, I, I don't want to camp, but like, oh my god. Okay, yeah. Everyone just sits around in the back of bag. Let me get a bag in the jet. And now we have the mini Uzi in Modern Warfare. I'm not using any attachments on this because of just. I just don't want to use any attachments to be honest. I want to kind of just use it bare bones and all that good stuff. So, this guy over there. Kobe! Got one guy. The Uzi's nasty in this game. Well, it can be nasty. Now, the Modern Warfare Uzi is probably one of my favorite Uzis. It's actually completely different than any of the other Uzis that we see in the Call of Duty franchise. It doesn't have a super fast fire rate like the rest of them. And it's 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 kind of a knee slapper in this game here, bros. Whereas in other games, it's not the best, in my opinion. And it's... Definitely not one of the SMGs that people use all the time. Can't remember which hill's next. We're playing hardpoint because any other game mode's kind of campy-ish. I mean, this game's kind of campy, so. I thought it was really cool how this game's Uzi is completely different than any other Uzi and any COD, really. I really like that, to be honest. Thought it was a little odd at first because, I mean, obviously when like you play a game for so long and you play a franchise for so long, it's it's weird when there's different variations. I, I okay. Like I shot his back fit and he didn't die. What the fudge? You would think that the mini Uzi would have the fire rate of let's say the Fennec in this game, but it doesn't. And as you guys just saw, I just got destroyed by a Fennec with a bunch of attachments as I buried like, you know, two or three shots into this guy. In this game, you need to put attachments on weapons, but we're kind of using it bare bones only because I don't want to use any attachments because it doesn't really bring out the authentic gun. Like, the authentic bare-bones gun is what we use in these videos. 
know, I don't use attachments or anything like that. I don't put any camos on, I don't use any attachments, none of that. Now, there is a way to make this gun two shot, and I'm not gonna tell you guys, because you guys can go watch my video. It's also really nice using FOV now, after I didn't use it at all. I will say that when we played this in the pre-alpha or whenever, we, I can't remember when we played this. I can't remember if it was uh, like the pre-alpha or if it was the, or if we played it when we were in LA or if we played the beta. I can't remember which, I can't remember when it was, but it was super weird playing this for the first time. Seeing how slow that the Uzi was because it's always been such a fast firing gun. I pressed the wrong button. I'm not used to stick and move. I haven't played controller in a little bit on this game. All right, so I think we're gonna hop into Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because that's actually the final game that we would have to look at because there is a mini Uzi in Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. So I think we're gonna go ahead and look at that. Oh wait, here's an Uzi. Here we go, here, okay, here, here we go, hold on. Eh, I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, like it sounds exactly the same pretty much because they ripped the sounds from Modern Warfare Remastered and they put them in MW2 Remastered, unfortunately. Oh, no, 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 oh my God. Wait, was that dual wielding Uzis? Is that what I saw? Oh, you bastard. Oh, dude, dual wielding, oh, dude, look at this, hell yeah, let's go. We got to light it up. So in this game, you were able to dual wield SMGs and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. So yeah, that's also another really cool thing about Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys saw, this is the mini Uzi from Modern Warfare 2. You guys saw me use the regular mini Uzi. Look at the chicken. Yeah, he's done so bunzo now. Hey, you like that chicken? That's a rooster actually, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, this is the this is the mini Uzi in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. And I think that's, that's it on our list. That's the last game. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I do appreciate all you guys uh, hanging out with me today. If you guys do want to, uh, wait, do, can you weapon inspect? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh my God, yeah. Which weapon do you guys want me to do next? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to do like the MP5 or something like that. I figured we would get a quick one out right now. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.